So let's look at this patch here and see how these messages are being passed around. And we're going to start from the bottom of the patch and work our way up because I think for this patch, it's really kind of even how I started. And the first thing I do when dealing with anything with a live object model is going to be to start with a live dot object. And the live dot object is kind of the max representation of a parameter that's in live. So we create a live dot object if we want to change something in live. And then we tell live dot object which parameter it's associated with. And then we send it messages to how to change that parameter. So we kind of make this connection between live object and a thing in, in, uh, in live. In a way, it's like a mapping. We're saying that this live dot object is representing the live set. And then we can send it messages to tell it what to do to that live set. Now live.object accepts ID numbers. We said that everything in live, um, no matter how complex the project, everything in live has an ID number associated with it. And we have to send live.object that ID number. All right, so live.path can take a path, which is what we saw in the live object model, those kind of um, live underscore set kind of things. It can accept a path and it will output, output an ID number. So if I look in the live object model, my live object is live set. So anything under live set can be manipulated, right? So all these properties. Um, so we see that clip trigger quantization is actually one of the properties of the live set. But so is current song time and groove amount and is playing and loop and loop length. All these things can be manipulated now through that live object because that live object is representing the live set. And these are all properties of the live set. Now, if I want to change clip trigger quantization, well, I have to format a message. I have to say set clip trigger quantization and then give it a number. So let's try this. Let's try to set our clip trigger quantization to half notes. So I'll have to format a message that says set clip trigger quantization, and I look for half notes, five. Let's try to create it. So to do this, I'll create a message. That's the M key, and I'll say set, we said, clip quantization, and we said it was the number five was representing half notes. I'll then take the left outlet of this and connect it up to the live object. And I'll cl uh, command click on this. And immediately we see half note and half note. So what we've done is this live object is associated with the live set. And we've sent it a message set clip trigger quantization five, which has now changed the clip trigger quantization to half note here and here. Now, just this is actually a very powerful thing because remember all these things can be manipulated right with this one object, right? So we've seen a nice important connection between live object and our project.